Well, mine. We know the Genus Cyber will be heading back to Ragnarok as champion. But what we do not know is who she will be facing at Ragnarok. Now is the time. Cetrion, goddess of lights and virtue. I gotta ask you the question, mine, after what we just saw with the Genus Cyber and Ayane. Do you even want to challenge her there? If you're any one of these women? No. I mean, what can you do? She's still undefeated, man. She took out the money in the bank briefcase holder. And she came real close. And, and Palpatine was sent away and it was still not enough. Yeah. So what can any of these women do? Run, pray, either fight, either fight or run away. You can only do one of the two. Well, it still is the biggest show of the year, and, and it's know, a big payday if nothing else. The best of the best have come to test the genocider, and they have all failed. Well, this is a familiar match to start this Royal Rumble. It sure is. Melina of Outworld. We haven't seen her in a minute. Especially since the color war started. Team Purple got eliminated. Oh no, wait, I was I was c confusing her with Katana, my bad. It happens like that sometimes. Well, speaking of Outworld, Shao Kahn will be defending his Galaxian title in the Elimination Chamber tomorrow night. Against five other competitors inside of the Elimination Chamber. Anyway, that will be tomorrow. We will also have the Men's Royal Rumble tomorrow night. But now is the time for the ladies to shine. Let's go. Mortal Kombat. Oh, and wait a minute. Right already? Off the bat, we got our first elimination. Well, that's very good for, Mal for Melina's sake because when you start this early, especially, you got to keep that ring empty. God, that's a lot for bonus points. It's Poison Ivy at number three. Another green member. And let's also not forget, mind that even if you don't win this rumble, oh, what a suplex. Ooh. Even if you don't win this rumble, you have the opportunity to rack up a lot of points and get into the World Martial Arts Tournament next year if you do well. Damn right. This only happens once a year for both divisions. That's what happened with Sindel last year. Yes, yeah, she did rack up a lot of points. So there is a oh. consolation prize of sorts if you do well enough. Well, let's see how well they aim to do tonight. Don't do that, Molina. Uh -huh. Get her over the top. We're wasting time, girl. And if you start early, you really can't afford to waste time, especially. Oh. Mm -mm. to have another combatant enter the room. I wonder who it's going to be. Cassandra oh. in at number four. The performer team purple. They're one of the first teams to win the wars. Not the color wars, I'm sorry. Oh! <laughs> oh, in your face. 
Oh, oh that's, not a, that's not a good place for Ivy to be. Don't be jumping off the ropes like that. No, this isn't a regular match. Anyway, Cassandra now trying to get Ivy over the top rope. What's Melina doing? Melina, you should have been helping there. It was very close. It's too late now. She's not going to go out. Melina was like relaxing in the corner while Cassandra had Ivy in the whole open spot. She should be. Oh, snap. There she goes! <laughs> Just a little short there. Those head attacks are going to come in handy in this world match. Something should wait number five. Ooh. There she goes again. Nice reversal by Molina. Sailor Neptune. One half of the women's tag champions. She will be defending her title tomorrow night. But for now. Oh, there goes, oh, Cassandra. There goes Cassandra. Here's an odd double team. Oh. These two will actually be opponents tomorrow night. I was going to say, it wasn't Ivy was playing the safe there for a hot second before Sailor they, Neptune came into the ring. They've been opponents all along, too. So it's a lot of cooperation. Yes, it was. But it's the Royal Rumble, man. It's Ragnarok. You got to do what you got to do. Even if it is against the Gina Cyber there. Yeah. Oh, now Ivy's on the ropes. Uh oh. Sailor Neptune. Oh, oh, nice elimination by Neptune. That was an unexpected early elimination. Hey, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Oh, and the rest of them. Oh, Molina. Another oh, elimination. Wow. Molina doing a great job here in the early going. Talk about racking some points, so that's what I like to see. Sister versus sister. Is this how you treat your family in Outworld? <laughs> this might be the norm, but not in our universe. Yeah. Maybe that elimination for Neptune, and I'm sorry. Vibes from what happened with Motoko Kusanagi last year when she was eliminated quickly. Yeah. Oh! That's the thing for Neptune tomorrow night because she has to defend her title tomorrow. Oh, are we going to get it? Uh oh. Uh oh. oh. Look at the show of strength from Katana. She's over 10,000 years old, man. So far, the early competitors are doing an efficient job of keeping the ring from filling up. Daughter of Sindel and stepdaughter of Shao Kahn. Here is Navi. Ooh, what did you do? What did you do? Chop block. Navi, no. That is a mess. Also, we will not win its tag team title match tomorrow night. Yes. The God Slayers, Team Hyrule, Team Birds of Prey, and the Outer Sitch. Can't wait. Wonder what is Katana doing? Oh! Oh! Hey! That's Tita's move. Favorite uh, 
uh, superstar is in the OBD universe. Oh, are we going to see it again? There she goes again. Oh. <laughs> well, just in time, too, because we got another competitor. Nobby bounced into the ropes, and that cost her. Oh, here comes Usagi. Another sailor spot. That's what you get for wasting time, Tommy. Yes, that's exactly what you get. <clears throat> oh. You know, between Molina and Katana here, Outworld's having the most eliminations so far. It's early going again. 10,000 years old and still has the face of a 20-something. Sagi looking for that rematch with the Gina Zyler. Team Outworld has been in this rumble since it began between Malia and Katana. Now Katana's in the corner, mm. gets out of it. Dangerous yeah. place to be. Now Way too close. And there oh. she goes. Very close. Very close. That was brilliant from Katana. I was about to call her out. Here that is number nine, Harley Quinn. You gotta soften her up before you take her out. And Usagi should just let them fight. Oh, oh. Another elimination for Katana. And down goes the birds of prey. Oh. oh, damn. <laughs> but look, Usagi already up. But maybe not for long. <laughs> oh, God. Didn't she eliminate Sindel last year? The Ricky Bridge. Okay. This Royal Rumble may end a lot differently than we may expect, especially considering how last year's was. <laughs> Katana is definitely in the driver's seat in the Royal Rumble. Here comes the witch with that slam. And she always seems to pull that thing out of nowhere. Like a black man. Stay away from the ropes. You're the witch, because Tana's on a roll tonight. It's amazing. You have to get to the ropes in order to throw somebody over them. It's a very, very sharp double edged sword. Anybody. Oh, ah. Anybody can go. Katana catching a breath. Oh! Mm -hmm. The witch part of Team Rainbow, Katana part of Team Blue in the Color Wars. Phoenix form though, interesting. Yeah. We got a princess, we got a wicked witch, and we got a high level telepath. Oh. 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 You know, Jean Grey wins this one, she could become a double champion. Yes, set your sights high. That would be a match for an Ragnarok, wouldn't it? Jean Grey versus the Gina Cyber, Phoenix versus the Gina Cyber. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Yes, the implications are mind-blowing. Oh, God, but, she's doing uh, it but, again. But, 
Quintana doesn't care for that. Man, Quintana she, doesn't care for that. She ruined that immediately. She is racking up points in this rumble, man. She doesn't care about fantasy matches, does she? No, the hell she don't. It's almost like she took a Zenkai boost to the head. And we haven't seen or heard from her mother. Which getting out of that a little. Oh, here comes Gamora, number 12. Another interesting member of the OBD universe. Gamora and the Witch struggling now. And here comes Katana to assist. I don't know what she was doing before. Maybe catching her breath. There goes the Witch. See what you got, Katana. <laughs> Good boy, I'm mm. already seeing what Katana got. Oh, ooh! Gamora winning the Battle Royal before Brawler's Ball in September. You know, I can think back to that time that she distracted Jeff Gamora and Thanos was right. Oh, oh no, that wasn't Thanos. I mean,. Damn. I'm thinking of something else. I'm sorry. Oh, what a counter! Oh, damn! That was wicked. Mm. I did see Katana holding her head. Is the damage starting to pile up? Yeah, wait. Now I remember she distracted the dark side. That's what it was. Since she is dark and famous. Remember when the cage came down? They were going <laughs> down. Yeah, man. That's what I was thinking of. Where I, did I, that I, cage come from? I don't know, man. It came out. It's not what we just speak. I don't know. It's like magic. Oh, oh. The dark sider. That the fresh Ventress looking to eliminate Katana here. And she and does! She does! Big elimination there. Big, big, big elimination there. Man, I was kind of gunning for her for a second there. I really was. One would think that if Katana came in a little bit later, she might have won this thing. I feel that one thing that we're also going to learn in this match is whoever wins is going to be the person that everybody deems fit to be able to slay the genocide. Right? But it also makes you wonder. Oh! Oh! Yeah, that, that brings me back to my question. Are any of these women, can any of these women slay the genocide? Yeah. I don't think so. I'm telling you, I don't think so. I don't even think two, three people at once could take her down. That will be later this month. Maybe Who's getting had, there. Maybe if you had the female equivalent of Jenna Dama, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Jetta, of course, will defend the OBD Championship against Goku tomorrow night. Raw martial arts match. We got another Sailor Scout coming in. Sailor Saturn. Saturn, of course, one of the Gina Cyber's victims. Though I still don't think we've seen what she can do totally. Oh, no. He, oh, no. She can do that. She can fall on her head. She has to, for her father's sake. For her sake as well. Now is she looking for a little bit of revenge? No, she's doing this instead. Look at Saturn now. 
Oh, oh. she gets planted in the middle of the ring, too. Damn. And now wisely, Hotaru wisely taking cover under the ropes. Thanks, guys, for making the Color Wars such a success. How did that even come together anyway? How did the idea start? I forgot. Because of you guys in the comments, the number 15, Evil Lynn. We are officially halfway through. Mm, damn, what was the job here? Nah, Hotaro, don't go up there. Gamora has eat has Ventress, I should say. Uh, she saves herself. I don't know why people go on the ropes like that. That is a dangerous place to be in this match. Sailor Saturn now has Evil Lynn up on the ropes. Ah, uh, she gets off. And Gamora rolls under there. That's a good place to be if you're wounded and need to recover. Ooh. We're starting to slowly fill up. We are halfway through, ladies and gentlemen. Team Outworld did a good job of eliminating people early, but now we are starting to fill up a little bit. Yes. I, I, got, I can't lie, I want to see more. And we're getting more. Who's going to be number 16? This is not going to be a Oh, Azula. Mm-hmm. It's time. Ventress again in trouble. And she again mm. saves herself. What's Hotaru doing? Where the hell is Azula? There she is. Mm. Wait, waiting doesn't harm you, I guess. Oh! Don't go up there, evil wind. <laughs> no, I was about to say if it's oh, 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 Hotaru's in trouble now. Hotaru is in trouble. It's not me. I love the Royal Rumble, I can't lie. I've been Great waiting for this team. for a long time. Happened later than we wanted it to this year. Uh-oh, what's Evil Lynn doing now? Azula, I mean, Ventress was in her sights, but Saturn says no. Uh-oh, Gamora is out. Mm. Four in the ring now. Fitting that Azula would eliminate. Uh oh! Now Hotaru's out! Two eliminations from Azula so far. Fitting. Yeah, number 17, Sheik. Three eliminations. Zula, you gotta watch out for this girl. Like you say, she, I always feel like she's one of the dark horses in the division, just waiting to break out of the gate. Uh oh, now she is gone. Azula's clear in the ring. Mm -mm -mm. She is going to town, never. Now she's in a bad spot. She's got to get it real bad. <laughs> now what's he going to do? Uh-oh. Well, you can clear the ring, but can you clear that? Mm. 
Oh. Going straight towards the ropes. He's recovered from that knee. Oh, oh. she's going for it again. Oh, and that another one for Azula. Azula has quickly made an impression. She has cleared the ring. Oregon Ainsland. Azula saying, come on in. Azula's still fresh. Time. Maybe you shouldn't have spent so long talking. Nice reversal, please. Last thing I want to be in a match like this is how to do this. Oh, but she's going to get it Ooh. this time. And she does. We're working now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, Azula retaliating. Maybe it'll be Azula versus the Gina Cyber and Ragnarok. Maybe. Or I guess it's not going to be because oh. there she goes. I felt like I just jinxed her right now. Yeah. Who's going to be number 19? We're finally starting to move closer to the end. Another half of the women's tag team champion, Sailor Uranus. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get. In your face. Ah, uh, here comes the rings. Oh. Ooh. Sorry, everybody. I dozed off for a little bit there. Ooh! So, everybody does have an action card as well. For being in this rumble, I mean, this is for the semi final title shot at Ragnarok. Still, is it the best thing for tomorrow? It doesn't really matter when you have no choice. That's right, it's Ragnarok. And who's going to be number 20? It is Bayonetta. Runner up in last year's Royal Rumble. We're almost home. Hmm. She's showing off, but that's a bad place to be in a Royal Rumble match. Doing here. Uh oh. Oh. Mm. It was Morgan. You know, I'm never gonna forget last year's Royal Rumble when the Gina Cyber dumped her out right there, right where she is right now, onto the steps. Who knows? She could have been the OVD Women's Champion instead of the Gina Cyber. That things ended differently. I think we would have had a better year if that were the case. Maybe. Mm. Well, who do you think this is interesting who do you think wins a contest of strength between Haruka and Bayonetta oh think we know now just going for the rings again wait a minute 
Uh oh. Elimination oh. number two for Bayonetta. You know. She did it in economical time, too. Sure uh oh. Did. Yeah. Last year's MVP. We all know what Sindel can do in these matches. Sindel probably had seven or something eliminations last time. Ooh. She does not go down there. Yeah, and I think she entered at an earlier time than she did in this Royal Rumble. Yeah, she was like number six. Yeah. And lasted till 25 or so. Oh. But Bayonetta is doing a good job of taking her. Real good. And For now. What's Sindel doing? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Bayonetta's on the ropes here. Oh. And she's Damn. gone. Sindel's got to rack up some points. Let's see if she can do it again this year. Oh. Former teammates collide. Here comes one of the Sharks. Don't do that. <clears throat> Recall that it was at Ragnarok on the pre-show last year that Motoko beat Sindel. Tapped her out. Motoko was eliminated almost immediately in last year's rumble, so she's definitely looking to do a better job this time. That's the plan. Can't think about everybody else in a time like this. You gotta focus on the prize. Motoko versus Gina Cyber 3. We just saw on Brawl them go at it again. Mmm. Oh, ooh. Nice suplex by Sindel. Oh, damn. She should have used that that, that their Ragnarok match last year. We're going to be looking at this as a KO match because I think one of them will have lost by now. Who will be number 23? Mm. Gabrielle. She will also be in that tag team match tomorrow night. Oh! Damn. oh. That's just pure instinct right there. That was so close. by Gabrielle. Damn. Gabrielle seems to be a favorite here in Outworld. Yes, they have heard of her exploits with the warrior princess Zena. Maybe they like that she was the Mother of Dayhawk's child. Probably. And you're right, Xena is number 30, so they should get her out here and now. And they don't do it there. Xena and Gabrielle can team up easily. She just needs to hold out until Xena gets here. We know she will be number 30. Zena was winning that honor on the preview of the Rumble. Mm. Oh. Here comes she number 24. We got four in the ring right now. Nice toss by Bodico. Wow. Send it. Damn. Oh, 
Modico in the corner oh. in trouble. Oh. Oh, and she's gone. And now Sintel is facing the same predicament. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn, dude. One after the other. And Sintel hit the steps on the way out. That's insult to injury. Ain't that a B. Or injury to insult. What you see. Just like Bayonetta last year. And down she goes. We're getting into the deep waters here. Yeah. Gabrielle. Here comes Shigo, number 25. And we are born 25. <laughs> Five more to go. Gabrielle's morale must be high because she knows Zena's going to be out here soon. She's been through a lot considering what we've done this season with the cover wars. She has some um, family members out there still, including my father. Gabrielle only needs to wait a few minutes. And Zena will be out here. What's Zena, what's she go doing? Excuse me. Let's say she does wait. She could be merely just waiting on her. Oh. You know. Can she wait? Mm. Gabrielle is looking sharp right now. But it is sudden death in this rumble. Gets out of that corner, that's smart. Both of these women too proud to go down like that. Chun Li number 26. Mm. Gabrielle. <laughs> nice ambush by Chun Li. Ambush Gabrielle. Uh oh. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, we're in the real deep waters now. And there we go. It's just about to counter out. <laughs> Gabrielle is looking great tonight. She's going to need it for next season. Yeah, if she wins, she's definitely going to need it. Mm. And I, I really have to feel that the winner just is taking a, a no-return trip to hell. Uh oh up to the winner and we're not there yet now she go in trouble she go is in big trouble kasumi number 27 well ayane could not hold up her end of the bargain will kasumi be able to get revenge for her sister and gentlemen we are live in new orleans louisiana Although this Royal Rumble is taking place what? in Philadelphia. What the it's hell was that? Did you just see that? No. I, what happened? I missed. Gabrielle is out. Wow. And I don't. I'm not even sure what happened. I don't even think she knows what happened. I don't either. Damn. I see her out there being like, how? Damn. Can Kasumi win this thing and get revenge for her sister after what the Empire has put her and Ayane through all year long? I don't even think I got replay footage of what just happened. That is a mystery to me. 
Nice back fist by Kasumi. If Kasumi mm. does want to avenge Ayane. She has to win this match and to avenge herself, too, for that matter. We all know what Palpatine did to her. There goes Shiko. Oh, yeah, I'm going in hard and good. Nina number 28. Here we go, y'all. The captain of Team Red, the runner-up in the color wars. Oh! Oh! There goes Kasumi. Oh, what a, that, that has to sting for Kasumi. Now, Lena has Chun-Li on the ropes. What's Lena doing? There goes Chun-Li! Wow. Only two competitors left. Oh, oh shit. Here we go. Here we go. The Color Wars winner. Teresa got out of that corner fast. So did Lena. Lena! Ah. And I will say, I, I'll say it again. Lena probably has the stronger attacks than Teresa. Will it matter here? Yes, it will. Because Teresa's basically Teresa everywhere else. Mm. And Teresa, although she did win the Color Wars, the one place she cannot challenge is in the semi-final of Ragnarok. She wants that. She wants to avenge herself at the place she lost her title a year ago. Right. That is the one exception to the Color Wars. You can challenge anywhere except at Ragnarok for the two main titles. As that honor is reserved for the Royal Rumble winners. And rightfully so. And now Lena is in big trouble. And we know who this is going to be. Number 30. Zero. What's oh. Lena doing, Lena? Lena! Oh! That's huge, man. That's huge. Wow. Holy crap. I can't believe oh. what I just saw. Out of nowhere, she just eliminated her. Man. Uh, Lena uh, getting some revenge from the tournament and the color wars, perhaps. Oh, uh, damn. Wow, I'm sure Teresa didn't expect that. But no now she's. Did. Lena took some punishment from Teresa, and now she's taking big punishment from Xena. Good Pins, pins won't do you good. What's what's Lena? Oh, Ooh. Lena's on wobbly legs here. Mm. Oh, Zena's on the ropes. Zena's oh. on the ropes. Oh, close. Was that Lena's best shot though? Zena has been on a massive roll this season. Will it pay off here? Hopefully. She's been looking to break out, as you said, ever since that match with Teresa to get everything started. You know, Lena Inverse earlier this year said she can do it. Lena, what's she doing oh. now? Lena, Lena, Lena wins! Oh. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Out of nowhere, she eliminates both of them, Teresa and Zena. 
What a way to end the night. Lena inverse. And this was it. And now mine. The rematch is on. Round two. At Ragnarok on the biggest stage possible. It will be Lena Inverse versus the Gina Cyber again. In that case, I'm gonna have to talk to LT about stipulations. Can Lena do it there? <laughs>